sinking into me, the way a soul sinks only, deeper, because I am deep around you, like sleep surrounding cities of dreams, or sea around earth. I am your new naked galaxy, and I want you all around me. I want you begging arms of the sky. to stay with rich friends at the plaza. New York gives me a fever, the great Babylonian city. I will see Mary again. Perhaps this time I will not be timid. I remember when I came to Central Bay one day and we met occasionally at the cafe. She invited me to come to her room in the evening. The day after we met, she left Sandra Bay, and I was filled with regret for not having kissed her. Now I was about to see her again. In New York, I unveiled my wings of vanity and coquetry. Mary is as lovely as ever and seems much moved by me. She's all curves, softness. Her eyes are wide and liquid. Her hair blonde. Lecture. She's slow, passive, lethargic. We go to the movies together. In the dark, she takes my hand. She is being analyzed and has discovered what I sensed long ago that she has never known a real orgasm at 34 after a sexual life that only an expert accountant could keep track of. I'm discovering her pretenses. She's always smiling, gay, but underneath she feels unreal, remote, detached from experience. She always comes to me eating candy like a schoolgirl, but inside she's going into pieces. There's a current of attraction between us, curly visible. We're always on the verge of getting into bed together. But she's never free in the evenings. She will not let me meet her husband. She's afraid I will seduce him. She fascinates me because sensuality <coughs> posed from her. At eight years old, she already had a lesbian affair with an older cousin. She deceives everybody, including herself. She looks so wet and open that men think she's in a continuously state of a near orgasm. But it's not true. The actress in her appears cheerful and calm, and inside she's going into pieces. She drinks and can only sleep, sleep by taking drugs. She always comes to me eating candy like a schoolgirl. She looks about 20. Her coat is open. Her hat is in her hand. Her hair is loose. She falls back on the bed and knocks off her shoes. 